You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. India's culture is rooted in colourful traditions that date back to ancient history. Dev Snan Purnima is one among these traditions which is observed just 15 days prior to world famous Rath Yatra or Chariot Festival. It is believed that a devotee washes away all his sins if he gets the vision of Lord on this day. Therefore, the occasion attracts lakhs of pilgrims from across the world. Have a look. The Puri city of Orissa recently became the center of spirituality as tens of thousands of devotees thronged its holy Jagannath temple to be a part of the annual Snan Yatra. Observed on the full moon day in the month of Jaisht, festival marks the birthday of Lord Jagannath, who is considered as an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. The event takes place on a grand scale and not just witnesses the participation of people from different parts of India but other countries as well. This feeling is um, something called Prem. It's actually, uh, this is an emotion but we have to dovetail that and we can do that by Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha, Jagannath is giving Sadhu and Sadhu is giving Jagannath. And this Harinam Sankirtan that you hear here, this is part of our bhajan actually. It's part of our bhajan and if we do it nicely, then we can obtain Krishna and Jagannath in this very lifetime. I am very happy that I have been here for this day. After Corona, we were very scared, we didn't know what was going to happen. Then we were able to go to the place where we were going to go. Today, we are so happy that we are going to go to the place of God. On this holy day, the idol of Lord Jagannath, his elder brother Balbhadra and sister Subhadra are escorted out of the sanctum sanctorum of the temple to Snan Bedi early in the morning. This procession is called Pahandi. After this, the deities are bathed with 108 pitchers of herbal and aromatic water that is taken from the well present inside the Jagannath temple. Puri King Gajapati is also brought in his royal palanquin to Snan Mandap to conduct the rituals of the festival. Meanwhile, the event is brought alive with the sounds of chanting mantras, dance performances and beats of ghantas, drums, bugles and cymbals. After bathing, the deities are dressed up in Gajanan Vesha or Hathi Vesha which has a story behind. The story काल्या हाथी बोलते हैं इसका मतलब ब्लैक एलिफेंट काला हाथी वो बहुत विशाल बपुधारी महाप्रभु हैं तो ये हाथी के तरह दिखते हैं और आज खास तौर पर ये गणपति भट्ट होते थे मराठा पंडित हुआ करते थे वो गणपति जी का उपासक हैं आप जानते हैं मराठी में गणपति का उपासक होते हैं तो वो आके जब महाप्रभु को दर्शन किए तो वो मन में गणपति का स्मरण किए तो वो कहे कि हमारे मेरे जो इष्ट हैं गणपति जी ये तो दिखते नहीं मुझ मेरे को महाप्रभु में तो महाप्रभु गणपति भट्ट का जो मानसिक होता था जो उनका मन में रहता था उसका पूर्ण के लिए मनोस्कामना पूर्ण के लिए महाप्रभु खुद हाथी का बेस हाथी का श्रृंगार करते हैं महाप्रभु काला हाथी और बलभद्र जी धबल हाथी वो श्वेत हस्ती जिसको बोलते हैं देव स्नान पूर्णिमा इज बिलीव टू बी वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट एंड एक्सक्लूसिव फेस्टिवल ऑफ लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ Even the rituals performed during the occasion are maintained in the Niladri Mahodaya, a religious text written in Oriya language. As per the Skandapuran, 
Raja Indrayuma set this bathing ceremony while he installed the wooden deities in the temple. And even till today, this ceremony has maintained its charm. हम जगन्नाथपुरी के दर्शन करने के लिए आए हैं ये पूनम का महा स्नान के दर्शन और ये पुण्य का मार्ग होता है इसमें पाप नाशना ये धार्मिक उत्सव है देव स्नान पूर्णिमा solely being the celebration of Lord Jagannath is accepted to be one of the most seasoned celebrations highlighting the age old traditions of India Having regards and respect for the beliefs and tradition of every religious community is the essence of Indian society. An example beautifully showcasing this culture can be found in the Siliguri city of West Bengal where Muslims have been making Hal Khata, a ledger account book for their Hindu brethren for years. India is a country where different religious communities not just reside harmoniously but also play a major part in each other's day-to-day -day lives. Examples of this peaceful coexistence could be witnessed in different nooks and corners of the country. One such example is that of Halkhata makers from Siliguri district of West Bengal, who are not only keeping alive an age-old traditional way of bookkeeping, but are also spreading the message of religious harmony. ये हम लोग शुरू से करते हुए आए हैं कभी भी ऐसा नहीं लगा है कि ये हम मतलब किसी हिंदू भाई के लिए बनाते हैं हाँ मतलब हमारे देश का तो हम लोग एक विशेषता जानते ही है हमारे देश का सबसे बड़ी विशेषता है कि सभी धर्म जो एक साथ रहते हैं तो हमें कभी भी नहीं लगा है कि हम मतलब हिंदू के लिए खाता बनाते सब आपस में भाई है हाँ और सभी मतलब इस तरह का कभी मन में ख्याल नहीं आया कि हिंदू के लिए क्यों बनाते नहीं बनाते हैं सभी हम लोग मिलजुल कर रहते हैं The Halkhata is a traditional red cloth hand-bound copy which is generally used by people of Hindu community for accounting and bookkeeping purposes. These Muslim traders and craftsmen at Anwar Khata shop have been preparing these Halkhatas for decades now for their Hindu brethren. They are generally prepared and sold on three major occasions which are Ram Navmi, Diwali and Poila Baisakh, the first day of the Bengali calendar. These traders and craftsmen feel honored to have found a way to contribute to a Hindu festival and tradition. ये तो बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं। हम लोग का समाज में जो खाता लगता है, रामनवमी में लगता है, प्रथम बसाम में लगता है, इनके सिवा और कोई देने वाला ही नहीं है। ये लोग ये खुद अच्छा से बनाते हैं। इनका ये पिताजी जब थे, इनका बगल में दुकान था, उनसे भी the efforts of these traders and craftsmen are appreciated by locals and it is a small efforts like these that maintain the social fabric of the country. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. The cast of an upcoming comedy drama Jug Jug Jio launched a new song Nain Ta Hire in India's showbiz capital Mumbai. Bollywood actors Varun Dhawan and Kiara Advani danced to the tune of the romantic number. The audience also got a glimpse of Indian singer Guru Randhawa performing a live version of the song. This is our fourth song from the movie and I'm very excited. Uh, Vishal Bhai is the first time I'm doing it. I'm doing a very good composer. And Kumar Bhai has written the song and I have written it. Directed by Raj Mehta, the story of the film revolves around two couples belonging to different generations and the issues in their married lives. Thousands of devotees including monks, Tibetans and people from across the globe gathered in India's northern town of Dharamshala to take part in a teaching session which was conducted by exiled Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama. I am here for His Holiness, to see him, to feel his energy, to bow my head to him. It's my first time. I didn't know there was going to be a seminar. I just came to Dharamshala for the residence and it was a lucky coincidence and I'm very happy that I had this chance to be present at the teachings of His Holiness. To mark the birth and enlightenment of Buddha Shakyamuni, 
the Dalai Lama held a two-day teaching session on Songkhapa stages to the path to enlightenment at the main Tibetan temple, Suglag Khang. Songkhapa was the founder of Geluk school of Tibetan Buddhism. The Dalai Lama fled from Lhasa for asylum in India in 1959 after an abortive uprising against Chinese rule. He has since lived mostly in the Northern Hill town where his supporters run a small government in exile and advocate Tibet's autonomy by peaceful means. India recently celebrated the third anniversary of a museum dedicated to peace in the northeastern Manipur state in the presence of top officials of the Embassy of Japan in India. The Minister and Deputy Chief of Mission of the Embassy of Japan in India, Kawazu Kunihiko, spoke about the cooperation between Manipur and Japan and said that he wishes to further strengthen ties between the two communities. Manipur Governor La Ganeshan and President of Sasakawa Peace Foundation, Atushushi Tsunami, also joined the celebrations. The Peace Museum, which lies at the foothills of Imphal Town's Red Hill, has a special significance in World War II and the war in Manipur, both of which took place during 1940s. The Peace Museum pays tribute to the lost lives and strive towards an environment of cooperation with Japan. Next, we take you to the shrine of Hazrat Khwaja Bande Nawaz in Karnataka that recently commemorated the 618th Urs of the Holy Saint. As people of various faiths thronged the shrine to be a part of the ceremony, it presented a wonderful example of communal harmony. Situated in the Kalburgi district of Karnataka, the shrine of Sufi Saint Hazrat Khwaja Bande Nawaz has served as a sinosher of communal harmony for generations. Recently, the 618th Urs of the Saint was organized at the 600-year-old shrine, which was attended by hundreds of devotees from across the nation, irrespective of their religion. The three-day Urs or death anniversary was organized to perpetuate the teachings of oneness and communal harmony, which were propagated by the Saint. <laughs> भले वो सिख हो हिंदू हो सिख ईसाई जो भी हो हर मजहब का आदमी को कुछ तो सुकून मिलता ही बोल के आते हैं नहीं तो वरना यहां कौन आएगा क्योंकि बुजुर्गों ने दीन ने ये लेके चले हैं कि हर मजहब को आज से नहीं कई सौ सालों से हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई यहां तो क्या हर जगह भी बुजुर्गों ने दीन के पास कोई भेदभाव नहीं है यहां हर कोई आ सकता है हर 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 दरगाहों पर यही बंदा नवाजी नहीं हर दरगाह पर भी गैर मजहब का आदमी भी आते हैं और अपनी मुराद पाके चले जाते हैं The beginning of the 3-day event was marked by an inaugural ceremonial procession called the Sandal Sharif which was taken out from the Mbaji Masjid from Momenpura to the Dargah premises after a special prayer the event included chanting of ceremonial verses, speeches and Kavali programs. Known as Khwaja Bande Nawaz or Sufi Saint Sayyid Muhammad Gesu Daras, the saint was believed to be a Sufi saint of the Chishti order. He had come to Kalburgi at the invitation of Bahamani Sultan, Tajuddin Firoz Shah and advocated understanding, tolerance and harmony among different religions. आज 618वां साल का संदल मुबारक है इस वजह में क्या है बोले तो देश के हर कोने-कोने से पब्लिक यहां पर आई हुई है सब क्या है बोले तो जोरों का क्या है बोले तो उर्स चले हुआ है हर हर तरीके के लोग यहां पर मिलेंगे आपको हर लोगों को नमाजने वाले खाजा साहब हैं यहां पर हर की तरफ से क्या है बोले लोग आते हैं अपने अपने मुराद पाते हैं since ages, the Sufi saints like Hazrat Khwaja Bande Nawaz have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country. And their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the thread of secularism. Yoga forms part of the most ancient cultural heritage of India. The International Yoga Festival offers a harmonic blend of traditional yoga and vivid spiritual tendencies of the world. The festival includes classes, workshops and other events conducted by renowned yoga teachers and artists from across the country. 
Yoga is the journey of self to self and through self. It helps us connect with our own selves and maintain our wellness as well as fitness. Since 2015, 21st June is observed as International Yoga Day worldwide to spread awareness about the invaluable importance of yoga. This year, the 8th International Yoga Day was celebrated under the theme Yoga for Humanity. Marking the occasion, Prime Minister Narendra Modi performed yoga with around 15,000 people at the Mesuru Palace in Karnataka. Yoga bring peace for us. The peace from yoga is not only for individuals. Yoga brings peace to our society. Yoga brings peace to our nations and the world. Millions of people with a common consciousness, millions of people with inner peace will create an environment of global peace. That's how yoga can connect the people. That's how yoga can connect the countries. And that's how yoga can become a problem solver for all of us. A number of different events, seminars and yoga practices were organized in different cities all across the country. Many citizens performed yoga exercises in groups at their own houses. In Guwahati city of Assam, athletes performed water yoga and attempted record of doing it for 30 hours, which is yoga being performed in water for improving strength, balance and range of motion. So, लोग uh, और जो कि ये आसान बात नहीं है तो ये हमें पूरा यकीन है कि ये एक रिकॉर्ड होगा और पानी में योगा करने से सेहत भी ठीक रहता है इन सिटीज लाइक प्रयागराज सिटीजंस गैदर्ड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ रिवर गैंजेस एंड परफॉर्म योगा पोजेस इन द कूल ब्रीज एट द बैंक मेकिंग श्योर दैट द पावर ऑफ योगा रीचेस ईच एंड एवरी सिटीजंस नो मैटर वेयर और हु दे आर a yoga session was organized for jail inmates in Poon city of Jammu and Kashmir. The yoga session came as a breath of fresh air for the prison inmates. Today, the yoga day is the whole Hindustan. We also have a chance to join jail inmates with jail inmates. And the benefit is that I was a victim of depression. When I was doing yoga, there was no thing to do with my life. It is a feeling of joy. And if you see that there was some misunderstanding in society about yoga, there was nothing to do with this. This is the biggest physical fitness. Apart from the above, many school children, corporate organizations and adults also had yoga sessions for their students and staff members. The concept of International Yoga Day was first proposed by Prime Minister Modi during his 2014 United Nations General Assembly speech. The draft passed by India was supported by 177 nations. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. A food machine is being used to automatically prepare wagashi, a Japanese traditional sweet. It beautifully creates the delicate appearance of the sweet. Food machine making competition is growing tough in the course of creating such a level of technology that can give taste similar to traditional cooking. こちらの中をご飯が通ってここで私どもの機械はそれにこだわって作っております。ま、一つ一つの車輪玉が空気を含んだものになるようにしっかりと成形して、ただ持っても壊れないと。ただ口に入れると解けるような車輪玉になるような機械を作っております。The automatic fried rice machine is designed to give the same feeling as traditionally cooked fried rice. It is very important that the temperature of the pot is kept at the same level and the ingredients are mixed properly.
Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.